these are yearly charges that cover the cost of upkeep for your timeshare property. They are essential for ensuring that the property remains in good shape for your vacation. However, don't be caught off guard. These fees tend to escalate over time due to inflation and rising costs of labor and materials. Hence, it, it's crucial to factor in these potential increases when considering your long-term timeshare budget. For some, the upward creep of maintenance fees can be a deal breaker for timeshare ownership. Number eight, timeshare exchange systems. Now, here's a feature that adds a dash of spice to your timeshare experience. Exchange systems allow you to swap your timeshare week with another owner, granting you access to new locations and experiences. It's like having a holiday home in every corner of the world. But remember, it's not all sunsets and cocktails. These systems come with additional costs and may sometimes be tricky to navigate. Exchange systems can offer more variety, but they also come with their own costs and complexities. Number seven, the use it or lose it policy. Just like it sounds, this policy means that if you don't use your allotted timeshare time, you lose it. It's no rollover minute situation. Your vacation time can't be banked for the next year. It's a case of seize the holiday or say goodbye to it. This is why timeshares are perfect for frequent vacationers. For those who can't get away often, it's like throwing money into the wind. If you don't vacation often, a timeshare may not be a good investment. Number six, resale value. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, resale value of timeshares. Unlike traditional real estate, timeshares often depreciate over time. It's not uncommon to find resale prices significantly lower than the original purchase price. Factors like property age, brand reputation, and market demand all influence resale value. So while timeshares offer a slice of vacation paradise, they're not typically a golden goose in terms of investment. Timeshares are not typically a good investment if you're hoping for a return. Before we move on, let's take a quick breather. We know this is a lot of information to take in, but don't worry. We're here to guide you every step of the way. If you're finding this video helpful, why not hit that subscribe button? Join the Morgansoft channel, your reliable source for all things finance, real estate, and more. By subscribing, you'll stay informed and up to date with our latest content. It's free and it's a simple click away. So go ahead, hit that button, and let's continue our deep dive into the world of timeshares. Ready? Let's go. Number five, contractual obligations. Stepping into the world of timeshares means wading into a sea of long-term contracts. These aren't casual agreements, folks. They're legally binding documents, often spanning decades, that you're obligated to uphold. They dictate your payments, your usage rights, and um, the terms for possible exit. It's like a marriage but uh, with a beach house instead of a spouse. And remember, uh, breaking a timeshare contract can be difficult and expensive. So think twice or maybe threes before you sign on the dotted line. Number four, beware of scams. Let's face it, folks, the timeshare industry is rife with deceit. Common scams include false promises of um, buybacks or rental income, or even convincing you to pay an upfront fee to sell your timeshare. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Protect yourself by 
verifying the credentials of anyone you do business with and never pay fees up front. Always do your research before making a timeshare purchase. Number three, the right to cancel. After signing a timeshare contract, a cooling off period begins. This is your safety net, a time frame in which you can cancel the agreement without penalties. The duration of this period varies by location, but generally it's between five to 10 days. Uh, it's crucial to read the fine print and understand your rights. If you have second thoughts, act swiftly. Don't let the sand slip through your fingers. Remember, you have a right to change your mind. Number two, the timeshare lifestyle. Now, owning a timeshare isn't just about the property. It's a commitment to regular vacations. Imagine having an annual rendezvous with your favorite destination. It's like a standing date with adventure. You're not just buying a piece of real estate. You're investing in experiences, memories, and the priceless joy of anticipation. But remember, it's a lifestyle choice that comes with its own set of commitments. A timeshare can be a great choice if it suits your lifestyle. And finally, number one, consider the alternatives. Instead of locking into a timeshare, you might explore other vacation options that offer more flexibility and less commitment. Vacation rentals, for instance, are available in a plethora of locations and for varied duration. Club memberships offer another choice, granting access to a network of resorts without the burden of ownership. Even home exchanges have gained popularity, providing a unique and personal vacation experience. Remember, a timeshare is just one of many ways to enjoy your vacations. So there you have it, 10 things you need to know about timeshares. From understanding costs and maintenance fees, navigating exchange systems, and the use it or lose it policy, to the reality of resale values and contractual obligations. We've also touched on potential scams. Um, your right to cancel, to cancel, and the timeshare lifestyle. And let's not forget the alternatives to timeshares. In a timeshare, make sure to do your research and consider if it truly fits your lifestyle and budget. If you found this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up. Your likes help us bring you more informative content.